In today's video, we're going to be talking about whether or not the Urban Skin RX Clear and Even Tone Glycolic Pads are a good dupe for the Peter Thomas Royal Peptide 21 Amino Acid Exfoliating Pads. What are the pros and cons of each? What do you need to know? And which one do I think is worth your coins? If you're interested to hear my take on that, then just keep on watching. What's up, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, what's up? My name is Miriam. I'm an actor and content creator based in New York City, and I share my journey with you guys as I pursue my creative passion to inspire you to do the same. So you'll see a lot of vlogs here, a lot of lifestyle content, personal development style, curly hair, and of course, skincare because I absolutely love skincare. Skincare. And with that being said, I just want to get the disclaimers out of the way. I am not a licensed professional, dermatologist, certified, anything. I am just a skincare lover. I am not promising you anything. Take what you want from this video and leave whatever you don't like. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into how this video is going to flow. As I've already mentioned, we're going to be comparing these two bad boys right here. The Peter Thomas Roth Peptide 21 Amino Acid Exfoliating Pads and the Urban Skinner X Clean and Clear Glycolic Pads. I'm going to let you guys know some 411 on each of them, how to use them, price points, pros and cons. And then at the very end, I'm going to let you know which one I think you guys should try in my opinion. With that being said, let's get into what you need to know about these, the Peter Thomas Roth ones. These are packed with amino acids, which help to reduce the look of pores, uneven skin tone, fine lines, texture. They help to reduce the look of wrinkles, like all the things that you would want for your skin, this is what it's gonna help with. So if you have blemish prone skin like I do, very, very acne prone, uneven skin tone, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, all of that stuff, that's what this is going to target. So let's get into what exactly is inside of this product. What are the key ingredients that you need to know about? This is a 20% exfoliating complex of different types of acids like phytic acid, salicylic acid, and sodium lactate. So these are these are the ingredients that are really going to help exfoliate, like I said, move, remove the dead skin, reveal the even toned skin, the glowing skin, all of that stuff. It also contains antioxidants with vitamin A and vitamin E. This product right here is all of the fragrance free alcohol free which is really important if you have sensitive skin and acne prone skin then you already know these that's what we look for we look to make sure that things do not have fragrance in it because we don't want to irritate our skin also pH balance it also acts like a treatment so basically it preps your skin to better absorb other treatment products like other products with active ingredients your retinols your serums like all of that good stuff therefore making them more effective because they're better absorbed into the skin so how do you use this bad boy? Very, very simple. You cleanse your face with whatever cleanser you have on hand and you gently pat your face dry. We should all know by now you pat, don't rub your skin. Once your skin is dry, you're gonna take one of these pads, you're gonna wipe it all over your face your neck you can even use it on the top of your hands you want to bring it down to this area i can never say the decollete what you know what i'm talking about that you're going to leave it on for one to three minutes and after that you're going to rinse your face with water pat dry your face again and then you could proceed to use all of your other products the reason why you're going to rinse it off with water is because the water neutralizes the peel so this you can use one to three times a week of course you want to start off slow with one time a week and then as your skin tolerates it you can increase the usage throughout the week another thing to keep in mind is that this contains ahas so you want to make sure that you're protecting your skin from the sun which you should be doing anyway using your sunblock i like to use spf 30 and higher you definitely want to be protecting your skin from the sun period but especially when you're using products like these that have active ingredients when you put this on your face there is a slight tingling sensation it honestly it's tolerable it's not anything too bad in my personal opinion it didn't it didn't bother me whatsoever the ptr retails for 52 dollars, and there are 60 pads in here all right so now let's get into the urban skin pad exfoliate dead skin cells they help with more even tone looking skin they remove excess oil they contain a lot of brightening components that help with the appearance of blemishes scarring dark spots hyperpigmentation all of that so as you can see just from there from what i just said they're similar to the peter thomas roth ones but not exactly what are the key ingredients inside of this bad boy this contains a 7.5 percent glycolic acid which in case you don't know is a very natural aha so it's easily absorbed into the skin also contain phytic acid and papaya extract which are ingredients that are anti-inflammatory and they also help with hyperpigmentation and the appearance of the dark spots scarring etc how do you use this guy after cleansing your face and patting your face 
comes dry you can take one of these pads you wipe it all over your face and then you can proceed to move on to your other products you can use this one to two times daily and also with this one you want to use your SPF make sure your face is completely moisturized and you're protecting your skin from the Sun this retails for $17.99 and this contains 30 pads I have seen pictures online I think they changed their packaging it may come in a 60 count but when I checked Ulta.com and a couple of other places where you can purchase this they only had the 30 count online so just keep that in mind all right so now let's get into the pros and the cons of each let's start with PTR what are the pros first and foremost this acts like a treatment so I truly felt that this really did prep my skin to receive all of the other products that I used after it they were better absorbed therefore more effective therefore I noticed a difference right away right away when I first used this, I had some texture on my forehead. It was like the summertime. I typically get like a, I don't want to say like a heat rash, but annoying red little bumps on my forehead. And I've always been like this. But this time when I had that, they were just a little bit more intense, more visible. There was like a ton of texture on my forehead. And you can tell like there was something there. And it was weird. It was like a literal rectangle on my face. Anyways, so I used these pads and the next day I noticed such a difference that I was so excited and I had to share it with everyone. And and like told people about it and did a video and a blog post and like all this stuff which is very rare because if you know anything about me if you've been watching my videos and reading my blog for a long time when it comes to beauty products especially skincare that has claims to help with hyperpigmentation acne you know acne uh wrinkles like all of that stuff i like to use that for a couple of weeks and by a couple of weeks i basically mean like a month because you really need to use things for an extended period of time to see how effective they are and i don't feel comfortable you know sharing things that i don't really know know yet how I feel about it and does it even work but because I noticed such a difference the next day I was like oh hold up people need to know about this because if I noticed that in a day imagine what my skin is gonna look like with continued use so I think that's a pro I think it's a definite pro that this is more like a treatment I found it to be very you know uh, gentle on my skin yes there's tingling but I didn't feel that it was like uncomfortable or like it was a burning me and it was like irritating me I didn't feel that way at all and because it helps to better absorb your products and therefore making them more effective I felt like after using it like one a week and then two times a week it got to a point where I could just use it once a week every other week every two weeks and so therefore with the 60 count I felt like it, la it lasted me longer so yes it's $52 but I really felt that this would help my skin and I saw the biggest difference um, in my skin after using this now what are the cons because there's there's cons to everything but honestly, the only con with this one is the price. It's $52. Now, for some people, maybe that's not a big deal. But if you're on a budget and you're just getting introduced to skincare, this $52 can be a lot of a lot of money. So in my personal opinion, that is the only con to it. It's just the price point. What are the pros and cons of the urban skin? The pro is that it's not a treatment so it is something that can be used every single day one to two times daily and the price it's $17.99. This is super affordable. Incredibly affordable. That is definitely a, a, a pro. You can use it for all skin types but you know all of our skin is different so you just got to try it out and see how it works for you. The con. The con is that there's only 30 in here. So if you use it once a day, you're gonna go through it quickly. If you use it twice a day, you're gonna go through it even more quickly. So at the end, I kind of feel like by repurchasing this a couple of times, you're gonna get to that point where you could have just spent the $52 on the Peter Thomas Roth and like called it a day. But like I said, everyone's budget is different. Also, I didn't really feel that this did anything for my skin. I felt like my ordinary glycolic toner, which is 7%, remember this has 7.5% glycolic acid. I could have just used my toner and call it a day. Like I didn't feel that this really did anything. I didn't see any huge improvements that like made me so excited. I know that they have other pads, maybe I need to try those, but I was just kind of like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. Another thing. This may be like a minor thing, but it's a big it's a big deal to me. I still have pads in there because I really like they just last a long time. These are soaked. 
there is liquid in here okay when I went to use the last one of the urban skin this sucker was dry there was nothing in here look this is dry the pad is completely dry there's no point that to me that to me is a big deal you know I want to make sure that what I am paying for these are pads that I don't have to moisten they're already moistened they already have all the good juices up in there that are supposedly gonna help me with my skin when I get down to the last few when I get down to the last one that sucker better be soaked that's just me that's just me so as you can see I can still use these they're moistened I'm gonna get what I need from them this one was completely dry now with all of that being said which one do I think is actually worth your money here's the thing though I don't know what your budget is right so only you can decide which one is the one that you think is actually worth your money right now if you're new to skincare or you're just starting to incorporate acids into your routine then I will say yes you can start with the urban skin rx and slowly work your way up to the Peter Thomas Roth or some other pad however the winner for me <laughs> are the Peter Thomas Roth Peptide 21 Amino Acid Exfoliating Pads. Yes, it's $52, but you get 60 pads in here, and like I said, it's more of a treatment, so in my personal opinion, I found that these were just more effective and more bang for your buck. Listen, at the end of the day, all of our skin is different. They will react differently to a variety of products. I may love this one, you may hate it. I wasn't completely in love with this one, but you might be completely in love with it. Of the Peptide 21 collection, there's a serum, there's a lotion, I forgot what other products. This one was my favorite one. This is the one that I said that I would absolutely repurchase and I totally would and will once I'm completely done with these. If you're interested to hear more about this entire collection, what's in it, how it works, all of that good stuff, I do have a video for you. I will link that video for you guys right over here. And for more beauty related content, you can click the beauty playlist right here. If you enjoyed this video and you found it to be informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you never miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.